I usually write my own stories, but this week I'm telling some stories that were sent to me, so I hope you enjoy them. Me and my buddies went on a trip to Lake Mead, you know, to camp out and have some fun. But things didn't go as expected, to say the least. We set up camp at a secluded spot near the lake, and everything was going smoothly until the second night. I woke up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, and as I was walking back to my tent, I heard something strange. It sounded like whispers coming from the lake. I thought it was my mind playing tricks on me, so I went back to sleep. The next night, the same thing happened again. I heard whispers, but this time it was louder, and it sounded like they were coming from just beyond the trees. I woke up one of my buddies, and he heard it too. We decided to investigate and took a flashlight with us. We made our way towards where we heard the whispers and came upon a clearing near the lake. That's when we saw it, a group of people, all standing with their backs to us, and they were chanting something in a language I didn't understand. They were all wearing black robes and hooded masks that covered their faces. We stood there, frozen in horror, watching them do whatever it was they were doing. And then, they all turned around in unison, revealing their faces, or rather, lack of faces. There were no eyes, no nose, no mouth, just smooth, featureless skin. We booked it back at our campsite, but the nightmare didn't end there. We started hearing more unexplainable and eerie noises and seeing strange shadows moving around our tents. We barely got any sleep that night, and when we woke up in the morning, one of our buddies was missing. We searched the entire area, but he was nowhere to be found. Then, during the latest droughts, they found a body in a barrel at the bottom of Lake Mead. It was him. And to this day, I can't help but think those featureless beings had something to do with it, something darker and more sinister than I would ever have believed before. So, I'm from Las Vegas, and I love exploring the outdoors around here. One weekend, I convinced my girlfriend and two of our friends to go camping near Lake Mead. We set up our tents, started a fire, and told stories all night long. It was a blast. But things started getting weird on our second night there. I woke up in the middle of the night to pee, and as I was walking back towards my tent, I saw something moving near the lake. At first I thought it was a person, but then I realized it was way too big to be human. It looked like a shadow, but it had shape and substance, and it was coming towards me. I froze, not knowing what to do. As it got closer, I could hear this weird scraping sound, like metal on rock. The thing was dragging something behind it. That's when I saw it, a miner's pickaxe covered in blood. I turned and ran, woke up my friends, and we all huddled in our tents, scared out of our minds. But the thing didn't come for us that night. The next morning, we tried to rationalize what we'd seen. Maybe it was just a weird reflection from the moon. Maybe we were all suffering from lack of sleep. But deep down, we knew it was real. Things only got worse from there. Every night, we heard that scraping sound outside our tents. We saw the shadowy figure stalking around the lake. And every morning, we found another pickaxe, covered in blood and hanging from a nearby tree. One night, we decided to sneak closer to the lake and see if we could get a better look at the thing. We heard it before we saw it, a man's voice muttering something over and over. It was hard to make out at first, but then we realized what he was saying. I'll never let you leave, he repeated over and over, and then we saw him. A man dressed like a miner, covered in dirt and grime. He was dragging something behind him, something big and heavy. And in the distance, we could hear the sound of someone screaming. We ran back to our tents, grabbed our stuff, and took off into the night. We didn't stop until we reached the nearest ranger station, where we told them everything that had happened. They sent a search party out to Lake Mead, but they never found anything. No trace of the miner, no sign of his victim. We tried to forget about it, to chalk it up to some weird, isolated incident. But I can't stop thinking about it. That voice, that pickaxe, that dragging sound. And I keep dreaming about those words. I'll never let you leave. I don't know what happened that weekend at Lake Mead. All I know is that something terrible is out there. Something that won't let you leave. And I hope to God we never see it again. So, I did some research on the history of that area, and it turns out there was a gold mine in operation near Lake Mead in the early 1900s, run by a man named John. The mine was said to have been abandoned after a mining accident, 
where John's greed led to the death of several of his fellow miners. It's said that John went insane after the accident, and he took to wandering the area around the lake, muttering to himself and carrying a pickaxe. He was never seen again after a nighttime search by the authorities, and the mine was eventually filled in and forgotten. But after what I saw and heard at Lake Mead, I'm convinced that John is still out there. It was supposed to be an exciting weekend getaway trip with my friends at Lake Mead, but it turned into a nightmarish experience that would haunt me for the rest of my life. We rented a beautiful lakeside cabin, and everything seemed perfect until it wasn't. On the first night, we decided to explore the lake and rented a boat. As we ventured deeper into the lake, the skies began to darken, and a storm started brewing. We decided to dock the boat at a nearby pier and wait for the storm to pass, but it never did. It continued to grow worse and worse, making us feel uneasy and trapped. As we waited patiently for the storm to subside, we heard loud screams in the distance. They were coming from the direction of the lake. We decided to investigate, thinking that a boat might have capsized in the storm, and the passengers were in distress. We followed the screams, which led us to a large, abandoned building that seemed to be an old hydroelectric plant. Suddenly in the darkness we saw a shadowy figure moving on the roof of the building. We knew something wasn't right, but we couldn't resist the urge to investigate. As we entered the plant, we discovered a dark and ancient altar, covered in blood and surrounded by strange symbols. The altar was summoning a powerful, supernatural creature, controlled by a mysterious cult who wanted to usher in a new era of darkness and chaos that would consume the world. We tried to flee, but the doors shut behind us, trapping us inside the plant with no way out. The creature emerged from the altar, a terrifying monster of myth and legend that was beyond anything we could have ever imagined. We fought and struggled, but the creature proved nearly impossible to stop. As chaos consumed us, we were forced to confront our darkest fears and fight for our lives in a battle that would determine the fate of the world as we know it. In the end, we were able to stop the cult and the creature, <laughs> but it wasn't without loss. We left Lake Mead behind, knowing that the horrors we experienced would never truly leave us. And as we sailed into the distance, we prayed that we would never have to face such a nightmare again.